I'm Chekhov27, and I need you to be quiet, for I have awoken the giant serpent that lives in the Earth's core. It's a long story, but let's just say, never challenge Scarlett Johansson to a drinking game. Apparently, that bitch can talk to snakes, and I might have punched her in the titty. But in my defense, I really wanted to do it. Look, let's just watch a video and wait for all of this to blow over. A big issue with games is being able to tell whether or not a game is going to be good before it comes out. Companies go through extraordinary lengths to get their customers to pre-order games by offering skins and DLC bonuses as part of that pre-order, but that never seems worth it. I don't buy DLC very often, and when I do, it's because I really enjoyed the game and want to play more of it. But this video isn't about DLC, it's about instilling confidence in the consumer. So what are the best ways for a company to instill confidence in their game? Personally, I like to see extensive gameplay. If a company is willing to show large amounts of gameplay, that's generally a good sign. On the other hand, you might have a company not allowing review copies to be released, which is always a big red flag. My newest pet peeve is releasing a cinematic trailer and calling it a gameplay trailer. This was of course done by Ubisoft to promote their upcoming Assassin's Creed game, and this decision has cemented my theory that Ubisoft is entirely run by a group of dyslexic pigfuckers. One of the best things a company can do is release a demo of the game before release, as is the case with Destroy All humans. When I woke up and saw that the demo was available on Steam, I got so excited I downloaded it immediately. And honestly, the gameplay seems really solid. I hold the controls of games in very high regard, and this game controls very well. I played the original ones as a kid, and from where I'm sitting, this is definitely an improvement. I also think the stylistic improvements are a big plus, though the demo seems to be locked at 720p for some reason, but that's okay, as it's not the full release. The cutscenes seem alright, and they took the audio from the original game, which is fine as the delivery is very good. They eat with their mouths? Ugh, I think I'm going to be violently ill. The demo lets you play the first mission, and then you can freely explore the first map as much as you want. This is honestly great. I don't have too much to say about this besides some minor frame rate dips, but that will probably be patched. I only wish you had access to one or two more weapons in the demo, but it is a demo. I sank about an hour into it, most of which was just me screwing around in the world. I mean, the controls work so well, and it's great to be on a mouse and keyboard for this game. I suggest everyone go and download it to get a feel for yourself. It truly is great. Aw oh, shit, this game's got all the Animals. The cow says. Mm. The rooster says. <laughs> this is a pink. That's a good day to use excessive farce. Heck. Every day is a good day for excessive farce. I'm more confident in this game because I've now had the opportunity to try it, and I know that's an obvious point to make, but I'm just used to being fucked around by companies like Ubisoft showing off games in misleading ways that it genuinely makes me happy to see stuff like this happening. I'm not going to give this a rating because it is a demo, but I am going to say that I'm glad I played it and I look forward to the release. She's right behind me, isn't she?